Many thought that the story, which is the subject of this next award, the story had been told and retold so many times that it was impossible to find anything new in it. But now from the BBC and the History Channel comes a new and disturbing examination of the Third Reich. It all happened so fast in those days. I, I after one had seen it come gradually, the Communist Party line, to which I still officially belonged, was that it doesn't matter if Hitler get to power. That's good. He'll soon have proved himself incompetent, and then it's our turn. For some extraordinary reason, they didn't realize that he was going to change the law once he comes to power, which he did very smartly. They have not we didn't fully realize what this would mean. We believed that we could still control him through parliament. Madness, total madness. On January 30th, 1933, the same day Hitler was appointed chancellor, the Nazis held a torchlight celebration parade in Berlin. The revolution had begun. The writer, producer, and editor of BBC Time Watch, Lawrence Rees, is here to accept the Peabody Award. Colley, well, on behalf of everybody at the BBC in London who, who worked on this series, can I say a Thank you very, very much for this wonderful award. And it's very fitting standing here in New York that I should take this opportunity to thank our co-producers, the Arts and Entertainment Network and the History Channel, who have their offices just around the corner, as you know. Because not just on this project, but over many years and many different BBC projects, they've proved themselves to be the most talented and supportive of co-producers. So thank you very, very much to the Peabody Committee and thank you very much to Arts and Entertainment and the History Channel. Thank you very much.